of the necklace last night. But now that you're sitting down comfortable and you ate. Oh, now you're going to bother me. I did <laughs> eat. All I, I had a banana. <laughs> took a shower. I had a banana. But I'm waiting for my coffee. I haven't had my coffee yet. You're sitting down and you're comfortable, right? Because I have good news. Why are you bothering me? I'm not bothering I'm going to give you good news. What's How does it bother news? you to give you good news? All right. Remember that big transaction that we made? Right? That big, big one? The $4,000? Yeah. The thing that we sold for all that money? Yeah. Guess what I got? What? Positive feedback. So it's it's a done deal. It happened. What did he uh, say? Uh, basically, it was kind of, he said, thanks you for all. That's it? <laughs> That's it. Thanks you for all. So <laughs> there it is, right? And I know it happened a month ago, uh, about, and... Um, I don't know. It, it basically, I didn't want, we we didn't want to talk about the sale because we wanted to wait till it was either like an it would have been an extraordinarily long amount of time if the guy didn't leave feedback, right? Yeah. Or we heard from him or something like that. But yeah, we did sell it. It worked out, and uh, for us, it was actually even a fluke that we sold this for that much, right? Well. I still don't understand why. Because now nah, you know why, but I, we just didn't no, know. I wish he had said more in his, at least some, or like emailed us and said yeah. something about he was happy or, or or told me something about them. Yeah. But AJ's it's probably like, gonna call you in a minute. So it's like I, I don't get decline him if he calls. <laughs> I will. I don't get why they went for so much. Yeah. Well, uh, the and video will explain. We went through it. We us. talked about it in the video. Yeah, oh, yeah. They called us right making offers. I'm like, what? Yeah, that, that's exactly what happened. Um, uh, what, but we did have them at the flea market for quite a while. The beads were broken. The, uh, people wouldn't even buy them for 20 bucks. And you were just going through your stuff. You said, oh, I'll list them. But um, it is true, though. Like, as soon as we listed it, we were getting these offers. 1000 2000 3000 4000 right? And we were I can't like. I remember the name of what. They are the cherry amber bakelite uh, simicron. No, but there's another name for it. How Hold on, I, I got the listing right uh, in front of me, so I'll just read what you wrote. Uh, it's not in the title. No, I know. I Here's a vintage strand picture. of cherry amber bakelite beads. They pass the simicron test, static test. Uh, I do not, but I do not think the amber. Also, they have the swirling inside. So, uh, fat Tehran. Yeah, fat Tehran. That yeah. sounds like a fat guy from from the future. Fat Tehran. No. When I did research, it's sort of like in Turkey. Uh, They're antique well, player beads, right? Fatteron is a combination of amber, amber. and and um, what did they say? Amber and like bakelite type. Uh, no, 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 no. Plastic? It's a combination of amber and um, it's just other things. They okay. were trying to make like a bakelite. They were right. trying to. Because at that time, Bakelite was popular, I guess in right. the 30s or something. And they didn't and, know how to do it? Uh, it was being exported in, uh, like, yeah. uh, like uh, also, furniture handles and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, so, so they liked it, and they wanted to make something similar, and they used amber as mixed a base. with other things yeah. to form this stuff yeah also they were really poorly strung that's why i think sometimes if you pin it it'll smell yeah like pine, like am like pine like amber supposed but to the smell. other thing that made them look like not as good as they were was they were very poorly strung remember well from what i understand is from what i figured from it is that broken it was a it's it's a it's a prayer bead yeah uh sort of like a rosary but it's 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 a muslim equivalent yes. sort of and um, it, it, they usually strung them on string and then they would have a tassel at the end. Right. But somebody must have broken it. Yeah, it broke. And, it, and, and even they, the bead was broke, And right? they restrung it on this yeah. nasty, heavy fish cord. Right. Fish line, which I said in my description. Yeah. Made it look like and crap. And in the meantime, they lost a bead. Right. And they lost it's, the bead. It's, supposed it's under have, somebody's sofa it's somewhere. It's supposed to have 33 beads. Yeah. And then the long right. section. Yeah. And uh, mine only had 32 beads. But within my long section, the top longest bead was broken. Snapped. So I wasn't, sh I didn't know it was broken at first. So I thought maybe that top, because it kind of looked like a bead. It was round, mm -hmm. but it had a little like lip on the end of it. And I was like, well, maybe that's the 33rd bead. So uh, I wasn't sure. Yeah, because it was kind of a yeah, clean break. So, but somebody contacted me. I mean, I was, first I got an offer of a thousand. Yeah, we got I, several messages. I, I, I Started at seventy five dollars because yeah. I figured as a bakelite 
yeah. piece, it, you know, and then people can make offers and I can take right. her. Say we yes just had, no. we didn't know, you know, it's like sometimes you don't know and you're surprised. Yeah. But this was, but this is the most we ever sold anything for. Thousand, Big super surprise. Then somebody offered me 3000 mm -hmm. and I was like, what the hell yeah, yeah, is yeah. this stuff? And we're like, you know? no. And then, actually, and then somebody offered me 4000 and I was like, this is insanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I have it at $75. It wasn't even listed like in a couple hours, right? I, I said, I have it at $75. Just bid on it. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. You know, you know maybe you'll save and, money. And I don't remember. It also gave us time to answer questions. For yeah, people. and then to look at it. Well, yeah. when I, when I had uh, researched the Fodron, there's also the Fodron is supposed to have like, it's like swirls, swirls inside, yeah. Yeah, you not that. like amber. Amber has like sort of like little. Amber has little things inside also, but they're not like swirls. Um. But that's from all the stuff that they mix with the amber. You know, it doesn't yeah. mix thoroughly. So you yeah. got swirls of different type of stuff in there. Um, and then also the really expensive, I thought, was the one that had like gold flecks in it. Yeah. Well, maybe that's even more expensive. Who knows? But You're... I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, well, anyway. I've never had it before. No, no. We had... Well, we might have had it. The reason know. I first bought it yeah. was because I thought it could be amber. Yeah. But it didn't test right, right? But well, when I try to pin test it, mm. um, it's denser, I guess. It the pin wasn't really like usually with amber, it just, the pin just goes right, right in, like yeah. like it's nothing, like you, yep. you just. And this was t like tougher. It didn't take the pin right. well, and it didn't more smell, durable. I guess and it didn't yeah. smell like amber to me. Right now, for amber, there's a salt water test you could do, and I could have done it with that. Yeah, there's also a static test. Yeah, that when you rub it. On, on wool or your hair or something and then you put it next to like a little small little piece of, like another piece of hair yeah, yeah. or a small there, little piece of tissue it'll jump it'll to jump to it. Yeah. it it gets magnetized um and it did that so maybe there there probably is amber in it you know you the know, guy bought it he but said thanks it, but it's tested as bakelite thanks when you, you test bakelite with simachrome. Yeah. And when you rub a Q-tip with simachrome on the bake on a bakelite piece, the simachrome on the Q-tip will turn like yellow. yellow. Yeah. And it did for this particular thing. It turned yellow. So right. I was like, okay, so it's bakelite. Bakelite. It's not amber. Right. So, um, but it's like I actually at, at when the auction was on, <clears throat> I looked at other ones. On eBay, and I saw other people had them for four thousand, and they had the Bakelite Q-tip tests too. But uh, I have more video as, of oh, this. Of also, our tests for amber, or if you put it under a blue light, it's fluorescent. Right, but ours didn't really do that. And it right? didn't do that. But you it put it under fluoresce. a bright light, right? Uh, for, people were putting it under bright light so they could see if there were swirls or things. Probably to see well, if so, there were swirls. Oh, well, inside. I was going to mention Thrift Hunter. Uh, oh, also, and the salt water test is if you put amber in salt water, it floats. Okay. Okay. But a lot of times I don't like to put a necklace in water because I well, don't want to damage the fish line would have been strength, okay. But yeah. the fish line would have been okay. Yeah, so we could have done that one. Yeah. So I could have done that one, but I never did it. But I was going to say, like, uh, well, I had told Thrift Hunter, like, hey, check out this crazy auction I got going on. They were offering me, like, 4000 and, and, like, when he looked at the auction, it was still stuck at 200 So he actually bid on it. You know, I'll put I'll put your uh, your a link to your channel um, in my description. I'll pin it, uh, Thrift Hunter. But so, he, like, he didn't tell me that he bid on it, but I saw later that he bid. I was like, and you'll see in the video, I have a little bit more video to this, where I'm like, oh, Thrift Hunter is a high bidder. Well, he thought he could get a deal. Cause <laughs> yeah, he, he what might have been were, able to. I guess, yeah, and, he might you know. No, he was confident, but he, uh, he said he was confident up to a certain amount, you know, like that. Um, but anyway, right? Uh, the Oh, so after it sold, right, then what happened, right? We, we, uh, we ship he did, it. He, no, 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 no. He did one of those things where he's like... Change the address. <laughs> he's trying to change the address on us. He did. Like, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah. That's and like, I was like, oh, okay, forget it. <laughs> yeah, I was up. like, uh, I, don't, I only send to the address that eBay provides me right. with. And that, but he was you like, know? oh, no, no, no. I want, I'll send it to that. I'll, I'm going to put a new e he address. He says, I'm going to change my okay, address. Okay, because it was global shipping. And the reason that, that he did it, I know, is the reason that he did it was because he wanted to save customs. But the problem was when he did it, it was going to take it longer because it wasn't going directly to him. It was, uh, you know, it would, would have went through customs to him, but instead it went here and then it has to yeah, be shipped. Had it sent to so that's why it took Delaware. like so long to get the positive uh, feedback on it, you know. And uh, oh, and then when we finally did, uh, even when we sent it, even though it took so long, 
Like when we sent it, be, uh, remember what when happened? When we sent it, we recorded ourselves packing it. Oh, I'm going to show that in the video. We, later, we, yeah. we recorded I'll ourselves edit it a little bit. carrying that package yeah. into uh, It'll look like FedEx. I skipped because I, I didn't want to show the name and everything on the package, but we actually recorded. I'll show how and, we did that. And yeah. giving it to the girl at the, just in yeah, case yeah, yeah, they yeah. claim that Taping it, it wasn't in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because oh, yes, yeah, eBay suck it. We have proof. Sale, That's you know, the most we ever sold anything for. And it's like And I've sold stuff close. But never for four thousand. So we um, recorded. But you forgot. Remember doing what happened? That, yeah. And then, um, so what happened was when you send something that expensive through FedEx, you, they require a signature. Hell yeah. 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 So it actually cost us like sixty bucks. Oh to yeah, send I was gonna mention it costs like piece. sixty bucks to send a, a what teeny package. But happened when it got to Delaware, I, we assumed. But you remember what was going on? What? And we sent it during the snowstorm. Oh, yeah. all these packages were getting delayed. Right, so it was like it took like an extra four days. I we paid for two days. No, uh, what ha I don't know if it took that long because because we did it what happened over weekend. was I checked it, and it had said uh, it was at this particular FedEx uh, office in Delaware. Yeah. Then the next thing said it was out for delivery. But that's right. He kept and going and coming back. And then the next thing back. said it was back at the office. Office, yeah. So what I did was I Come wrote on. him a, a note and I said, look, that, you know, we had to send this with, because this is an expensive item. Yeah. We, we got signature confirmation. Right. And if there's, somebody has to be there to accept the package yeah, and that's sign why, for that's it. Why, yeah. If nobody's there, they won't leave it. I don't want them leaving it on and a doorstep. he was doorstep. like, okay, okay, right. You know? No, he didn't, he wasn't agitated or anything. Okay, cool. And I don't even think he got back to me. I don't, I okay. don't think. But this way he can make sure... I told him, please contact that FedEx office yeah. and let them know and where you want us. it re-delivered or if somebody <laughs> could come pick it up and sign for it. I said, you know, because I was getting nervous. I didn't, you know, I, I'm so, I'm, you know, I don't really don't trust people, you know. And <sighs> it's, it's true. It's, people can be, like, unscrupulous. And it's not just eBay. It's it's. It's just something for my child. I just don't trust people. No, you can't. I mean, it's a four thousand dollar deal, and it's in mm -hmm. eBay's hands. And eBay is notorious for like, yeah, we just gave the 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 well, uh, buyer back his money. How many packages this past Christmas were so super delayed. late and delayed? Yeah. And other people that we watch on YouTube are complaining that no, that's true. It's that true. eBay well, demanded that... that they give people the money back. Oh, they yeah. give the people the money back. Then the package arrives. They actually did it to me. They gave some of them uh, a the, sale back because the then the package, the package arrives. And what the lady on YouTube said was that some people were nice and mm. either sent the package back to her or sent her back the money. That's crazy life, But some lady. people just kept it. Well, uh, yeah, I've been I've been talking about her already. Well, anyway, um, the last uh, last thing I'll talk about this because it's, uh, this video is already like 13 minutes long. Uh, at, because I have more video to add of the actual thing ending and then that's going to post ours. So this is going to be like a 30 minute video, right? Oh. Is I'll just say how we didn't touch the money. <laughs> no, I wouldn't allow you for like to. a month. I said you're not allowed to touch that because money until we like know. somehow somewhere we knew we were going to get screwed over. <laughs> But guess what? We were wrong. Our okay, spidey senses that were tingling on this one were just uh, not Now accurate. that eBay works through your bank instead of through PayPal. They would, would go into my bank and they take They would money. just go into your bank and take yep, money Yep, they out? would dip their dirty little See, eBay uh, paws into my bank. And my bank would be, yeah, go ahead. take Just take their money. <laughs> um, your bank offers no protection. Your bank doesn't go, wait a minute. Yeah, you like know? those people in Texas who got a $17,000 electric bill. Oh, yeah. And because they had, like their, but the bank wasn't like, oh, that they seems had unusual. Up to have their bill just taken out of their seventeen thousand last like, month. Why yeah. wouldn't the bank say, wait a minute? Why no, are the bank they charging care. them seventeen thousand dollars for Because PSC, well, it's not PSC and G. It's no, 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 Texas no, 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 no. ESC and G, it's whatever. Texas something. Yeah, Texas Energy Per, whatever the hell they call it. They're like, yeah, it's us guys. You can trust us. We're That's just going to go in this guy's like bank and take seventeen thousand dollars. You got yeah, like seventeen thousand dollars in his come bank. Into just my boom. bank account and take the money out every month. I was no. like, oh, I just made a deposit. Let me check my balance. It should be seventeen thousand you know, or something. Years like, ago, no! we, we had an issue where where we they got double billed, billed us and they screwed us twice. Yeah, and hey. then a, and it messed us up, putting us in a negative. <laughs> we're off. We're off target. Okay. All right, I'm gonna end the video here, and you can watch the rest of of, of what happened, what was going on, and uh, uh, why this was a, a good sale for us. You know, and it it doesn't happen very often on eBay. And basically, there were really no problems. It just, you know, uh, other than whatever I described, no real problems. Uh, and, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. And if you ever see anything like this, and you probably never will, <laughs> uh, don't be afraid to spend more than a few dollars on it. All right. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right. I, I got this 
All right. I got this listing where they're going nuts over. They're offering me like, here it is. It's these vintage cherry amber Bakelite prayer beads, uh, semi-chrome tested, right? They're going nuts over it. I've been offered uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 for it. And I want to show AJ and Ed it. I, and I don't. I keep saying Ed because Ed just called me two seconds ago. Of course, I said all morning I'm saying Jose, Jose, Jose. But Ed calls me for two seconds, and I'm like Ed, Ed, Ed. Ed. Okay. Jose, <laughs> Jose, Jose, Jose. Want to hear AJ's opinion? Uh, wait, come here. Okay. Everybody got their mask on, so don't worry about that. Jose has his mask on. All right. This is it, Ed. It's Jose. <laughs> That's it. That's it? Yep. That's the semichrome test. See this? Uh-huh. The Q-tip there? You, it looks uh, you... like your wax. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> but uh, you put you put semichrome and then you rub the beads. And if it's Bakelite, it turns color. She also did the static test. That's a close-up of a bead. And then um, these are prayer beads. Uh, it's like Turkish. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, and one of the beads looked like it had something like a pen test or some mark. Somebody could say, could you take a close-up uh, photo of that? And uh, now, in order to prove what I was talking about, that I wasn't lying, I'm going to see if I can find an email where they asked me. But here, that's the description. Yeah, and like then rare. somebody wanted rare? to know. Yeah, it's really rare. Yeah, how old is that? Uh, it's probably from the 1920s. Uh, let's see. Here's a vintage cherry amber big legend. get it. We just buy stuff. We knew we knew it was interesting when we bought it. She said she had it to the flea market, but then she found it. You know how many times we make mistakes as resellers? It's like, that's why you go, oh, reseller. Oh, they're scummy. Oh, they're scummy. But if you go, okay, resellers have the best shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because it's what we do. So you go to a reseller. We make mistakes all the time. You catch us. Like, remember when we sold the, the first set of Star Wars we sold? And the guy was like uh, bragging how we fucked up and shit. And, we, and it got back to us. Remember that, AJ? Columbus? AJ's doing his, his thing. I don't know. All right. So anybody, after we list it, uh, somebody's like, how much are the beads? We're like, we weigh the beads, 84 grams, right? After we list it, somebody asked me about that. But here, I'm going to see if I can find uh, – just give me a second. I'm going to see if I can find an email where the guy offered me uh, – let's see. You didn't try to authenticate it yet? It is what it is, you know? Uh, oh, this guy wants to talk to us. Are we online? Like to make sure it's from then? No, he wants to do a side deal. And I don't want to do side deals on eBay. Because if eBay finds out about it, we get in a lot of trouble. And it's not where... Oh, here it goes. All right. Uh, there's us. Sorry, but no thank you. Just bid on the item if you're interested. I don't want to end the auction and sell outside of eBay. Have a good night. Hello. Buy not... Buy not... I guess he meant now. 1,000. So that's where he, he went to 4,000. But he's not the yeah. only one. So it's like I said, these beats are... Okay, there's these other beads that are super really rare. So I don't know if they think it's if it's these beads, but we don't think that they're that. Let me see if I can go back to the description and see if she mentioned the name of the beads. I do not think they are amber. So some people might think they're amber, but they're but we think is they're a bakelite. You can sell amber, right? No, you can sell amber. You can sell amber anywhere. Amber. Uh, no, you can't because it's the elephant. No, that's ivory. Oh, you can't sell ivory. You can't. You can't even sell a lot. Of, you can't sell walrus bone. You can't sell uh, bones of animals. You can't sell like any kind of bone that's endangered or whatever. Like you couldn't sell tiger bone or any of that stuff. Um, so, and they yeah, meanwhile they, you see, got this guy over there. Fatteron. That's the other thing. So some people might think they're Fatteron, right? Say so that there it is. Fatteron. Ugh, that's Eddie calling me. Fatteron's another kind of plastic. Eddie's calling me back. I'm like, I'll decline for now, and then I'll call him when we're done. Um, so anyway, I might keep this as part of a as a video and just release it after these things sell uh, to see what happens. I still say that Anthony made a big mistake. If they, if they don't sell for over a grand. Three bids. Uh, I Honestly, I don't even, whatever. I have so much Where stuff, it doesn't matter. Where was that guy matter. from? It doesn't tell you? I think they're Turkish. I think they're like Muslim. Uh, here, let me go back to my messages. And you don't, you wouldn't take it to a Muslim. Uh, no, I got nothing store? against that. No, I said you wouldn't take it to a Muslim jewelry store to see. They're what They're not going to tell me nothing. And do you? Can you spit out a Muslim jewelry store off the top of your head? Oh, yeah, 
<laughs> Patterson. Uh, Patterson. Oh, oh I'm going to go to Patterson, they're going to tell me. South Patterson. <laughs> South Patterson? South Wait, Patterson. is South Patterson a good part yeah, of Patterson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right okay. next to Clifton. I was going to say, is or there a good Clifton part of Patterson? Or Clifton has some too, yeah. Uh, it's the same with the trains. So I mean, it's worth it just to stop in and say, what do you think this is they, going to We're going to see what happens. Uh, I, I'm just, it's the auction started. I don't want to dick around with it. I don't want to fuck around with it. I don't want to take the chance that I bring it to some guy in Patterson and he goes, well, let me just take him to the back for a second, and he gives me some. Oh no, no, nah. yeah, that's yeah. why you never let him go to the back. Yeah, exactly. You see his face. Well, he's you gonna be behind a glass window. Up. You know what I mean? They're in like, Patterson. They're gonna no, be. No, not in like, Clifton. They got a lot. Of, they got a couple on Clifton. All right. You give it to him if his face lights up, then you know. Right Honestly, there. it's like the trains. I was selling trains. Uh, we're selling trains on consignment, right? And everybody's like, "Do the trains work?" Blah 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 blah. And I finally got to the point with the trains now that I said, "Marie, just put in the description." Uh, that the trains are we're selling for parts repairs mm. as is used because we can't test them and I, that's how I got I got a negative because of the trains. Oh wow! Well, that's a that's on Mimi Shop, so I guess I can't really show that now because I'm what's signing. What's your um? Me. What's your page on YouTube again? Uh, Secondhand Daisy. Okay. It's where this video will appear, sure. and it's two N D the number two, N D H A N D D A I S Y. I post videos all the time. I posted the live thing. You're actually, Jose is actually, I'm just going to show Jose. Jose is actually in the, uh, what do you call it, thumbnail. <laughs> this is Jose. He's my thumbnail in one of my videos. All right, my eBay messages. Yeah, okay. And look, look how many messages we got on this thing. Oh, it starts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen messages. On this from three different buyers. So right now they're all just playing that bullshit game where it's like, I don't want to bid too much. I don't want to tip anybody off. Blah, 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 blah. I'm telling the people that are that are messaging me, I said, listen, I already got off for $4,000. You know? Um, but okay, I guess I'll end it here. And then I'll call Ed. Not Jose. Jose's right here. <laughs> you know? Even though I'm calling him Ed like five times for now. I don't understand why. But I'm going to call Ed. And, uh, and then I'll update it. Uh, as we uh, as the drama unfolds or continues. All right, I just want to update uh, this listing with the beads a little bit because I have to keep updating it. We keep getting like swamped with questions. Uh, how many questions do you think we've had on it so far? Like twenty? Not that many. Maybe like ten. No, definitely more than ten. I counted like fourteen, fifteen yesterday. Um, well, then now you have one more, so that's 16. So why are you asking me if you already know? No, it's more. I said I counted 14, 15. I might have been 17. And then we had three questions last night. No, we had one question last night. No, we had more than that. We had one question yesterday morning. I think we've had like question 50 last... questions. Okay. <laughs> Maybe 100. I'm not sure. All right. This this is some kind of pin test somebody asked us or a, a hole in a bead they wanted a close-up of. These are just some – I've had to add like just – three things to it so uh tell me your impression of this what do you think's going on you think they're nuts you think they they don't know what they're doing you think no i think it's something that we don't know something about uh, yeah and it's like really special you know, it's like i know they're prayer beads right they're turkish? uh they're they're probably turkish yeah they're testing as bakelite but people list them as cherry amber bakelite but the cherry amber is more the color it's not that they are amber right so i was worried that people were thinking that they were amber but i had put in my description that uh i did not think that they were what were they there's just there's a certain kind of plastic of a uh, fatteron fatteron okay back in the day when they there's 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 different issues about uh, uh, or stories about uh, Fatteron. Yeah. Um, they don't actually know how old. Is. Some think it's like really old. 1920s? No, 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 no. Old, like old. Okay. Some think it's really old. But then also some think it's from uh, during the time when they uh, d um, developed Bakelite. Okay. And what happened was when they first developed the Bakelite, they used it in like handles and stuff on furniture. Okay. And when they were importing or exporting the furniture to Turkey, uh, someone in Turkey saw that and, and, uh, made their own, tried version. to make their own version yeah. with a mix of amber, like shavings 
Mm -hmm. and and uh, incense and something else i don't know what it was yeah and um it comes out looking like that and okay. it's called fodder on but then also there's a story where this guy fodder invented it i you know i don't know there's a, there, I, I don't remember okay. everything i read all right but um it's uh it's wanted you know? yeah big money now this piece yeah. I've been offered a thousand. I've been offered three thousand, mm -hmm. and I've been offered four thousand. Yes. And I said no. Right. Because I don't know, you know, yeah. what they're, I, I don't know what they're up to, you know. And, and if it's and if my description isn't a hundred percent accurate, which it isn't, because I'm describing something that I'm not sure what yeah, it yeah. is, they can easily give say, them time to figure it out. They you know can I mean? easily say not as described. Because we've been getting a lot of, like I said, a lot of questions that we're answering. So they're figuring out stuff. Like one guy this morning asked us for photos, well, last night, asked us for photos of uh, one of the beads. He said, this shouldn't be uh, two beads. We thought it was two beads, but no, it's actually a broken bead. That's why I'm showing this photo. So this morning I went and took a picture of the break, and this it's supposed to be one long bead. Yeah, right? but they're, they're So I, I showed, I showed uh, two angles. And then he also asked us about... The third hole in the middle. Yeah, it's the same bead, and he said it's supposed to have some kind of third. It's supposed to have three three holes, one, two, three, right? Um, which it does have. So that means he knows something, right? Yeah. Uh, again, that that we didn't know. I'm almost done with. But it's uh, pictures. also missing one bead. See, it looks like it looks like to me like what happened is somebody owned it back in the day or whatever, and it broke. Yeah. And they restrung it on this disgusting fish heavy line. fish line, and they did a poor job. Right. But also, it in broke, the meantime, they, lost, time, a bead, they right? lost a bead. Yeah. So this particular prayer uh, bead uh, is incomplete. It should have 33 beads plus that long section. Yeah, see this long section right here. That's what. That's where it's broke. Yeah. Uh, broke. Where it should um, be broke. Oops. Mine only has 32 beads. Right. You know, I, when I was counting them, because this piece was... You thought it had 34 because beads, right? This, no, no, no. Because this piece was broken... Yeah. I thought that was the 33rd bead, right. but it's not. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm getting the... No, you brought this box up. It's just, uh, because I'm using my hands. Okay, I'm relax. using a mouse track Relax, bag. relax. Because this was broken, I thought it was the 33rd bead, but this should be one piece right. here. Yeah. So it's not the 33rd bead. Yeah. So that's so, that's a little bit more of we learned what we've learned about it. Do you think you'd be like if you saw this again in the in the field? Well, see, look, I've done tests. I did the Bakelite test, which is simichrome yeah. uh, on a Q-tip, and right. you rub it, and if it comes out yellow, it's Bakelite. Right. I did a static test, which there's a static test for amber. If you rub it on your hair or on the wool or something, and then you go by either like a strand of hair. Or some like torn tissue, right. like, and it and it 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 has static that it attracts the tissue to the piece. Right. Then the piece is amber. Okay. Now this did have a st I did pass the static test. Okay. But when I took a pin to it, it didn't smell right. Right. But I'm but that not could be sure. If it's and also, I felt that it was um, it was harder. Usually, yeah. if you touch a pin to amber, it goes. So maybe like, this fatter on. But this, I felt like it wasn't the heat wasn't going yeah. into it so easily. So what's the backstory on this? You had this at a flea market. Also, amber will fluoresce under black light. Mm -hmm. This didn't fluoresce. Okay. So again, it's not amber. Okay. Um, what are the other tests that I did? Uh, oh, and fatter on is supposed to have swirls inside of it. Yeah. Because it's from the mixture of all the things. Uh, and then, so all the things are, are swirled together inside the bead. Okay. But also in my research, I found out that there's a, a, a higher quality fodder uh, on that has uh, gold flecks okay, in it. Okay, we don't have that. And yeah. it's got lava, it has like a lava look inside of it. Sure. Um, yeah, that, no, no, no. These are just clear. Yeah, there's, it's weird. There's, there's no striations inside there's no they're clear so we've I already know, added like a know. bunch of pictures and then uh, obviously we should have added the weight somebody wanted the weight we added that then we added some photos because they wanted a, the close of the small hole uh that was uh, that was a pin uh, hole that i showed and also the three photos that we just talked about back well, story is you thing. had it for, a, for years a, no i don't think i've had it for years i flea had market. it at my uh at the flea market 
Couldn't and get. And people would pick it. They want to see it. I show it to them, and they say it's amber, and I'm like, no, I don't think it's. I don't think it's amber, because I don't think it is. It's right. not. You know. Yeah. But I'm not a hundred percent. Actually, no. I I I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure it's not amber. Right. All but. Right. You know, as soon as I say it's not, they throw. And it, they amber say would that, not that that would not happen if you did a bakelite test on amber, right? The Q-tip. No. Yeah. If no. You, yeah, it wouldn't happen. No. So so it's like okay, so we don't think so it's amber. So it's a ba- it's a big like I you know so. But we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> How many more right days now, does it have? Right it's up to one hundred twenty-seven bucks. Yeah. Because I only way less than that's four thousand. Told people they're offering me thousands of dollars. AJ was like, like, I would have ended the auction and started at, restarted at a thousand. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because yeah. then. If it, because, uh, AJ's okay, calling. because they're looking at a photo, the fact that we were commercial photographers, we know how confusing a photo can be. Yes. You know, you you could look at a photo and your mind assumes it's larger than it is. Yeah. Or, I mean, I used to shoot domestics. We had, we had, um, um, forms that we used to put inside the towels when we folded them yeah. so that they would stack nice. So meanwhile, it looks like this big fluffy towel, but if you were actually to fold the towel, it's like half the size, you yeah. know? So a photograph can be very misleading. Right. So um, you want to make your description as honest as possible. As honest as possible. But if there's a lot of things you don't know, Yes. I can't put, I like, I didn't know those beads were broken. I would, right. I just thought they were two separate beads. Yeah, they didn't look broken. You know, so. There was a clean break. Well, so, sort of, um, know. you know, if the person had gotten it before, they could have said, oh, this was broken. It's not as described and, and want their money back. Right. So they could have my beads and their $4,000 back. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't, I don't. No, I get it's it. Just, I don't trust them. I don't sure. know. Why are you throwing big money at me? Something is up. Yeah. All right. So anyway, um, this is where we are. Um, a few more. I guess it has a few more days, right? Because you ran a five-day auction. I ran a five-day auction. I just got two more days. And I told them, look, if Six you're interested, hours. just bid on the stupid thing. Yeah, leave I us alone. I started at $75. <laughs> ask the questions that we didn't ask, 4, answer. The thing is at $75. Yeah. What are you doing? Just bid. AJ's Maybe still calling you... me. I declined again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop here and, and uh, call AJ. Bye. I'm just, I got, apparently I got 40, no, wait, it says duration five days. I think I got like 45 minutes left on it and one second. Um, it's up to 293. Now, someone offered me like four, uh, up to 4,000 on this. And I'm like, hey, it's a good offer. So I'm going to see what happens in the next 45 minutes. I'll just check it sporadically. And if I remember, I'll watch the auction end. You know, like, what's your... Uh, no, not really, because uh, I don't know if these guys are correct or wrong and to be honest i don't want some i'm gonna say jerk off buying it and then going there this isn't the right thing and it going outside the country you know what i mean uh because it it's gonna it's i'm almost positive it's going out of the country right yeah i'm almost positive it is that it's going out of the country so um i don't want it going out of the country and then winding up um i have to deal with like a, a return where I'd have to pay uh, customs and everything like, because that's another that's another thing that that they could do. They can if you even if you sell something through global shipping, if it's uh, a not as described, they can do a return on you. And it, either you got to be like you got to eat it, refund, or you got to pay to get it back. So these are the beats again. So I'm just going to pay attention to this. Now I think I, I I think I know this person, Thrift Hunter for you. So I'm going to see what happens with this. Person? I think I do. I think it's Thrift Hunter. What? The bit on it? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Thrift Hunter bit on it. Yeah. He might he might have a, a feeling in his gut about it. So we're going to see what happens. Thrift Hunter? Really? I think, yeah. It says Thrift Hunter for you. High bidder. Wait, what's the highest bidder? 4000 uh, No, no. It's only two ninety three. Well, somebody... I had several people offer me 4000 So we're going to see what happens. So you think they... I, don't they tell you who's the highest bidder? I don't think so. They don't. Well, it tells me who it is. Oh, it tells you who it is. Because my auction. Yeah. So actually, I know who this is. All right. All right. So let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll check in with this in a little bit. I'm not going to hang out here for 45 minutes. Okay, this is the, the Cherry Amber Big Light Prayer Beads I've been oh, yeah. talking about all week, uh, the five days that it's been running. 
I've been uh, talking about it, showing how people have been going nuts over it, making offers. It's got three minutes and 17 seconds left. I am at 293, and believe it or not, I know this person. Um, I had actually mentioned to him uh, uh, about the auction, so he, I guess he said, let me see, <laughs> let me get in on that. Uh, there, I know there's weird lines in this, which is weird. Not sure why it's really doing that. I don't know if it's my phone or whatever. If there are a bunch of like weird lines going through the thing. So anyway, it's got three minutes to go. Oh, actually less now. Uh, okay. That's Thrift Hunter. I know him. He buys. Uh, he actually gave me some advice on the on the beads. Uh, I got eight beads so far. So on the beads, beads, beads. Uh, I'm going to basically not just hang out here for the three minutes. I might check. But, well, it's two minutes, 32 seconds. Let's see. This one's annoying because I have to keep refreshing the page. Let me see. You know what? Let me see if I can open another page and go. What are you doing with RJ? What happened? Let me see if I can Control. Yeah. Let's just see how this goes. Okay, so it's still it's stuck. One minute for, I wonder if Marie's watching us. We go to bid eight bids. And let's see if we actually get a. Okay, so we get a, a time, uh, like a, a, a countdown on something on this. We're gonna see how it ends. Then I'll talk to I'll talk to Marie. Actually, this to me is more exciting. Refreshing the page. Page views 207. That's me. I'm the one that keeps. Uh, we started at 74.99 again. Uh, what I said was, <clears throat> we started this and we were getting like a ton of emails, a lot of excitement. Uh, so let's see. That's gonna, uh, they're probably going to take it to the last second, so I've got one minute, five seconds. I I'm just going to hang out here. At one minute and five seconds ago, I'm just going to watch it get bit down. Let's get nice and tight on there. i got less than a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me, I'm going to revise the item now. <laughs> oh, okay. 40 seconds is at 323. And my friend is still in there. Let's see. Uh, 323. 40 seconds. Whenever, whenever it's done, AJ. I mean, yeah. That's AJ's stuff, right? Yeah. So I'll put it on. Oh, no, that's your stuff. Okay. All right. We got like. Wait a minute. 31, 17 seconds. Stick at 323. Uh, I did. Okay. Oh, you didn't hear me? I was like, I got the money. Uh, I put two bags. Oh, they're right there. See on the green bucket? You know, you okay. should, you should I got like get... almost no seconds left. Let's see what happens. You should get $3,000 and let's see what happens. Okay. It's at 4000 Wait, what? <laughs> $4,050 winning bid. For what? Get out of here. For these beats. <sighs> For yeah, four thousand fifty dollars. How much did you buy them for? Marie bought them. I don't know. I no clue. But we there's no way we paid more than like ten to twenty bucks for them. Get out of here! Yeah. Yeah, they're just something that we didn't know what they were at the time. We started off at seventy five bucks. Yeah. Now let's see what happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Well, four thousand fifty dollars. What? Four thousand fifty dollars. In like the last two seconds, it was stuck at three ninety three. But it was funny. I actually told so I know somebody, and I was talking to him about it. So he actually got in there. I think he wanted to give it a shot. But I was telling him that they were like I was getting all these crazy offers for it. I don't really want to show the bidders and stuff. How much for these? I show that another time. That's his. Uh, buy one more and you get uh twenty bucks. I'm sorry, four get one free. Buy four so you get five for twenty. Well, oh, I already bought two games from you. That's why I was like, damn. So, well, which, which shoe did you buy from me? No, no, it came from here. No, how the hell did they jump out? Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, 15 and give me, uh, and then take uh, take one more game. How the right? hell did they jump out? Yeah. Right, I want to see this now. Well, well I don't want to show the bid history. I don't want to show the bid history. Go ahead. Right. I am. I'm, I'm at the I just want to see how many how many bidders that we had. This guy I was talking to. That guy was uh, emailed us a lot. Oh, wow. Well, no, he only went to four. <laughs> so then it wound up being between two guys. Yeah, no, three guys. Three guys. three guys. Don't say the name. You know, I only was showing Thrift Hunter. Which, which he did. He went up to a fair amount. Hunter. He wanted to be in there, so that's actually kind of cool. It's kind of. I actually uh, think that's fun that he got in there. Well, I'm happy that 
Oh, this guy didn't win it. Look, look at the zip code. I'm happy that he didn't win it. Uh, which guy? That guy? You want to know why? Why? Private. I'm yeah. happy he didn't win yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I say private. private. Private feedback. Now, let's see this. I mean, the reason they do private is pri maybe because Let's see sells. the winners. Um, yeah, I'll definitely take a look. Okay, he's not a new account. Okay, but... He, oh, he's uh, in Canada. He's going to Canada. Okay, all right. So, hopefully that's good. Which is good customs. It, it won't get destroyed in customs. Nice. Okay, all right. So, there we go. It now, went for... Now, let me let me go pay, back. If he doesn't pay, yeah. don't offer the other guy. No, I'm going to just put it on eBay for like 5000 and fuck it. I don't care. Okay, so there it is. Call Marie. Right. Call Marie. No, no, hold on. Let me Wait. do... Let me call Marie on video. Come uh, on. Well, no, no, yeah, 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 no. On, She'll on. get mad. I, I'll get her reaction. I sold it, relist. It doesn't say they paid. We so no, nah, I'll get. A I want to talk to her tonight about it. Ah, uh, there he goes. Uh, I tried to buy them. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to him. I, I said I'm. I'm gonna tell him I'm. I'm filming it. And I actually saw. It might take uh, to Monday to pay. You wanna know why? Um, why? Because sometimes it's a lot of money. International payment. It takes a little longer when it's a lot of money. Do you want? You want to just pay me out me the fifteen or yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, is this the most cool. money you ever sold on, on eBay? Oh, uh, it is. The most uh, I ever sold before this was thirty five hundred. The most I sold was fifteen hundred. Yeah, there you go. Well, let's again. We'll see if it if it works out. All right, I got this. Uh, all right, so oh, I wanted to talk to Thrift Hunter. Oh God damn. Yes, yes. I, you know. Uh, all right, let me uh, go you know, let me turn this off for a second. Okay, I'm recording it this way, so like when when we go in, I can just carry the phone like this. It doesn't look weird or anything like that. All right. Uh, basically. Um, this is our big sale, four thousand dollar amber beads. You know what? Take everything out. And we'll show that it's the correct beads. You know, show the part where the bead was broken. Show the end with the two holes, I guess. Well, Here, hold it up in the light so we can see it better. So the, it was broken it's not really in the light, but... Wait a minute. Now hold it up higher in the light. Okay. Okay, so that's where it was broken. Yeah. And there's the three holes there. Okay, so these, these are the same beads, right? Well, yeah, and they're strung on the, the fish cord. You can cord. even count the beads if you want or whatever. There's no, no extra No, there's, there's, ex there's one missing. Okay. But he knew that. All right, do you want, you want to take over and just hold this? No, and I'll kinda... do it. Well, no, I have to pack it. I got a tape and stuff like that. Well, let me just wrap it back up in the bubble. Okay. And as you can see, uh, this we do because we don't trust people. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah, this is a, a big sale for us, like 4,000. This is us proving, okay, here. Got Don't it. touch the back of the thing, just hold it like, you know, all right. And just try and keep the camera on me for, with enough room, just as I do this, and I pack everything. I'll try, I'll keep it on the same space. I'm not moving around. I mean, you can see, obviously, there's no other boxes I'm gonna switch anything with. So it's in the bag, right? You can still actually even see it in the bag there. This. Now I just gotta get the tape. Okay, I'm taping it up. Then I'm gonna tape the label all over it. This is four thousand dollars right here. Our biggest sale ever, right? I think so. It is for sure. Uh, here's the label. Here, might as well show the label. Get the whole thing in there. And then you can do a close-up of, of, like, everything if you want. Just barcode, all that stuff. Mm hmm Okay. All right, I'm putting the label on. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, we don't normally do this, but when you have a four thousand dollar. Well, also because he wanted you to send it to a different address. Um, and yeah, usually but it's that's an a eBay. usually that's a sign of like trying to scam you out of something. I, I think but so. what he did was he when he went to pay through eBay, he used a new address. So as long as he did the address through eBay, yeah, we don't have an issue. Um, the thing the thing is, right? Is like because probably what he's doing is he's saving a lot of money on customs fees. You know, because it, 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 this is like a PO box or something. So what we'll do, I guess, is just, uh, I'll keep the camera on you, or... Yeah, I Okay, and you just scan it, and then, uh, we'll just hand it in to the right person. All right, um... Here. Well, I gotta, yeah, I can scan it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna hold on to this until we get out of the car, and then I'll hand it to you. I know, right? Seat belt. Uh. Had to close the door. Put up my mask. All right. Do you have any other packages on you? No. No. See nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Here. I'm handing it to you. Okay. I will just follow you. With the package. <laughs> right. Just make like I'm looking at my phone, not paying attention to nothing. It doesn't seem weird. We've done this before. And then just go to the counter and if you can, just try and say, hey, I just want to hand this to somebody. Oh, Marie saw something on the <laughs> ground. All right. My parents taught me always look down. Yes, it's a good idea. You never know what you're going <laughs> to wind up getting. If there's nobody at the at the counter, just bring it up to them and just scan it then. No, I'll scan it. Um, well, it's easier. This then you no, just actually just hand it straight to the person. Could you scan it for us? Did you need a receipt? Yes, please. Yeah, so we're gonna do that right over right here. We're totally self-service when it comes to receipt. That way you never have to get in line. Okay. So we just hit drop off, continue, scan it right there. We're going to print the seat and it's going to come out right there. Thank okay, you very thank much. you. See, I told you I should have scanned it. Oh, uh, well, she was waiting there and she was like, hey, can I help you? <laughs> okay, let me see that. Uh, okay. Okay, that's uh, the number. That's the address it's going to. Scan. Well, that's the address we dropped it off at. You can check all that out. It's all good. All right, I'm going to end it here.